Hey everybody, happy Thursday. So um, today was Joe's birthday and um, we did like a uh, little at home celebration and um, I wanted to get cake but he told me no, like an ice cream cake because uh, I do every year and he just kept telling me no because just as you all know things are really hard right now so he just said save your money, save your money, stop, stop worrying about my birthday, I don't even care about it anyway but me birthdays are special and I just wanted them to feel good and stuff like that so that's good um, because that saved me some calories because of course I would have wanted a slice um, but as I've kind of mentioned in other vlogs I've been debating going back to Weight Watchers and um, so I was on the website last night looking up stuff and looking up their tools and all these cute little bundles that they have and um, you have to be be a member for it and I'm scrolling through and I see their um, calculator for what's the new program called smart points or something like that and I had an epiphany I was like wait when I was doing Weight Watchers on the points plus program I bought a calculator and I never really used it often but I did here and there and I remembered coming across it a few weeks ago so I did some hunting and I found it so yeah, it is points plus. It's not the smart points, and the way they calculate points is a little different. I know, but I'm totally okay with that. See, it says on here points plus. So, um, I'm just happy that I don't have to pay for a membership. Like, I, I know, like, if I were to calculate points right now compared to the new program, that my point is my um, food is going to be slightly lower in points compared to. The other programs, I know what they look at, saturated or fat or sugar or there's something that's tweaked a little different with it. I, I'm okay. Like, honestly, when I started Weight Watchers Points Plus, um, prior, what was my highest? I was almost 150 pounds and then I got down, honestly, like looking back and thinking about it, I did at one point get down to 116 something. So I did that all on Points Plus. Um, back then smart points didn't exist so yeah I was doing fine I know there's healthier ways of looking at things but it worked for me and again I love the Weight Watchers system because it looks at things like fiber and carbs and fat and protein to determine the weight of a point calories are calories you could have 200 calories and eat the shittiest shit if you're strictly looking at calories um, or you can have 200 calories and have the healthiest of things you don't know just by looking at the calories whereas the points if you are eating something super high in carbs and low in fiber and low in protein it's gonna be really high in points and you only get a, a little bit of points throughout the day um, uh, on my calculator I don't know how accurate it was but it I did it and based on my weight and everything it said 29 points I know it's 26. Now, again, this might be a little off, so I will try the 29 points, and if I find that um, I'm not really moving anywhere, I'll probably tweak it down to 26. Um, or I'll do some research online and see if there's anything out there that can tell me, like, based on the old program, what points I should have in a day. So, we'll see, but I'm really excited to be able to save myself 20 bucks a month um, I really was debating ending my Planet Fitness membership, but to compensate for going on Weight Watchers, but um, I kind of want to keep it just because at some point I will want to weight train. Right now I just want to like lose the weight before I start worrying about toning. So I don't want to have to go through the hassle of canceling it and then having to restart and likely there's like an extra fee and blah blah. So yeah. So that's the exciting news today. Um, so my weight's been the same. I have honestly, I've been kind of lax this week. I've really just maintained. Um, like yeah, I had a loss. I know you all know I had plateaued for a bit, but um, I did go down, and I've been at that weight all week, which I'm okay with. Um, I don't know why I've been lax this week. I just have, but I'm gonna get back into it. Um, 
Yeah, maybe it was just because my diet bet um, ended and I was just like, let me take a rest, a little break, because uh, I think I'm going to start up a new one. I did win my diet bet. Um, I bet 20 bucks, and apparently a lot of people did well in this diet bet because um, I ended up winning $27.15, I think it was. So, that good, like, since I didn't double up, that means I only won 30% back or whatever so whatever I mean I'm just happy that I won my money back and then some so I'm gonna take that money and put it into a new diabet because I do want to get lower I am going to get lower so I might as well bet money on it right and nothing's more motivating than money and it's already spent money so it's either you get paid in PayPal with it or um, apply it to another game so I'm gonna do that uh, I was thinking of doing up a new one in like maybe a week so if you guys are interested in a diet bed or want to know more about it I can do a video about it or let you know I mean if you're interested let me know because I definitely do want to do another diet bed I'm still looking to lose 20 pounds 15 to 20 pounds it just depends um, my body before could never quite get to 115 like I do remember it got to like 115.4 for like one day, but it was like 116 point something back in the day. So anyways, this was just a quick little hello and um, just wanted to catch you up to date with what I was going to do. So I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye guys.